What is uh, the structure of a protein? So a protein uh, is uh, consists of a, a chain of amino acids in sequence. Uh, the structures can be split into primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Your primary structure is your chain of amino acids and the order in which they are linked together. Your secondary structure is when this link of amino acids forms either an alpha helix or a beta pleated sheet. Um, and then your tertiary structure is essentially the 3D folding of that sequence of amino acids. Uh, and then your quaternary structure is when multiple chains link themselves together to form larger chains. And um, what are glycoproteins and lipoproteins? Uh, so those are essentially proteins with extra added structures uh, consisting of either uh, sugar, sugar groups uh, or fatty acid groups, depending on, on their name. And what, do you, what is an essential amino acid? Can you think of any examples? Um, so an essential amino acid is an amino acid that cannot be produced endogenously by the body. Uh, in terms of naming a, a few of them, I'm struggling to think of them off the top of my head, um, okay. but I'll say things like uh, phenylalanine and, and uh, valine. They're the ones that come to mind. I'm, I know there are more. That's, that's good. Um, what are the metabolic functions of amino acids? Uh, so amino acids act as building products uh, or building blocks of the, the protein structures that we rely on to function uh, physiologically. Uh, in addition to this, they can also be used as a substrate uh, for energy. Um, that's it off the top of my head, either, either as structural or as, as energy sources. Okay, and how is urea formed? Can you tell me about the urea cycle? Uh, so, <laughs> so the, the urea cycle is essentially um, the process by which excess amino acids are broken down and excreted by the kidneys. Um, they rely on a series of intermediates um, acting in a cycle to, to excrete uh, urea, which is the end byproduct of uh, the urea cycle to, um, to ex be excreted in the kidneys. Um, it's also known as, as the ornithine cycle. Um, I can't really draw out the middle steps, unfortunately. It's okay. And can you tell me about creatinine? Uh, so creatinine is, is another breakdown product uh, that is excreted in, in the kidneys. It's also useful clinically as a surrogate marker for renal function uh, when you calculate creatinine clearance in a patient as a measure of their renal function. Yep. And where is creatinine formed? Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Okay, in the muscle. Okay. Um, and what do you know the function about, what is the function of purines and pyrimidines? So purines and pyrimidines are both essential base building blocks of uh, DNA. Um, with uh, purines and pyrimidines essentially binding together in pairs. Uh, the, the most commonly found purines and pyrimidines are adenine, thiamine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine, uh, with thiamine and uracil acting as interchangeable factors with each other, depending on DNA or RNA. Yep. So there's only a few seconds left, so I'm not going to ask you. Okay. Question. 